It was amazing, I tell you. <laughs> you ain't seen anything like it. No siree. Uh, a giant uh, razorback pig, at least 20. Uh, no, no, make that 100 feet tall. In time, he was all like, yahoo! <laughs> and he was jumping all over the place. <laughs> and the razorback was trying to squash him. But Ty stood his ground. The Razorback powered toward Ty. Steam coming out of his nose, sparks shooting from his hooves, fire coming out of his, uh, his ears. And then, without warning, Ty jumped out of the way, and the Razorback slammed into a termite mound. <laughs> Not just any termite mound, though. Uh, this one was full of a, uh, the rare and dangerous killer African Mighty Bitey Ants. They swarmed all over the Razorback, distracting him long enough for Ty to save the village full of orphans. <sighs> it was an amazing sight. There's a place in the deepest, darkest outback that I swore never to tell anyone about, ever. It's a, a dangerous, treacherous place full of bad, bad things. No one, except yours truly, <laughs> has ever escaped and lived to tell the tale. But I like you kids, so today's your lucky day. It all started when I was doing a stint of door-to-door -door salesmanship, huh? selling special left-handed toupees. For people who come to the right, in case you're wondering. Now, uh, where was I? <laughs> Oh, yeah, the, the world's largest fake crocodile? Yeah, I, I happened to cross it when I was passing through Dusty Burrows last year. <laughs> it, it made from paper mache and pieces of old gum boots, it is. It looks amazing. You have to check it out. You really do. I broke the land speed record just the other day. Uh-huh, did I tell you? Oh. And I didn't use a car. No way. I ran it. Woohoo! <laughs> and was I going fast? It's a little trick I learned during my years as a door to door salesman in the Tibetan Highlands. That's a tough job, too, because they don't have any doors, they don't even have windows. In fact, they live in giant mushrooms and, and, and eat tofu all day. So, anyways, uh, back to the world record that I broke. <laughs> It, what was it again? Oh, yeah, the Curlong Pie Eating Contest. Well, I chomped my way through uh, 672 pies, I did. <laughs> and you know what I won? A dozen hot apple pies. No lies, it's the truth. <laughs> Ain't it ironic? Any of you kids know much about our beautiful native animals? Nope, <laughs> I didn't think so. Well, let your old Uncle Lenny educate you in the ways of the Aussie bush. Okay, first up, the humble elephant isn't actually a, a native Australian animal. Uh-uh, <laughs> no way, <laughs> not at all. The elephant is actually from uh, New Zealand. Yeah, uh, they're part of a special breeding program that crossed a Tasmanian aardvark with a Swedish hippopotamus. No word of a lie, it's the truth. They ended up in Australia in the 12th century when traveling Italian merchants uh, brought them over to trade for silk with the local koala population. Mm -hmm. Since then, they've been a fixture of our great Aussie bush. You know what a platypus is, right? Well, get this. I always thought a platypus was a cross between a duck and a beaver. But guess what? It ain't. They are actually web-footed mammals that lay eggs. <laughs> How's that for weird, huh? <laughs> it's totally true. Cross my heart and hope to die. And get this. They use electricity to see underwater. <laughs> yeah, sort of like sonar, but different. The other crazy thing is that the males have a poison spur above their hind leg. Wow. Get stung by one of these and you are in deep trouble, I'll tell you. Ouch! So if you ever see a platypus, treat it with respect, okay? 
remember one time I was helping my old buddy Ty on a secret mission. We were sneaking into one of Boss Cass's bases when we were surrounded by a gang of uh, uh, sharkadiles. <laughs> What's a sharkadile, you ask? Well, they're, uh, oh, they're big, ugly critters, like crocodiles, but with a huge fin on their backs and really bad breath. Woohoo! Oh, oh, and, and they have rows and rows of sharp, pointy teeth. Yeah, and they like to bite things. Woohoo! Yeah, anyways, Ty and me were surrounded, and these sharkadiles were looking mighty hungry. Well, I thought we were goners, until I had a brilliant idea. An idea so incredible that it saved not only my life, but the life of Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. You see, sometimes I, well, I have so many ideas that I occasionally lose my train of thought. <laughs> but not this day, no way. I was switched on, baby, ha <laughs> ha. Now, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, the Burramudgee Talent Show. Yeah, so I won the grand prize by singing a song I composed all by myself. <laughs> I beat out everyone else, and then they wanted to give me second and third place, too, but I insisted they give those to the runners-up. Woo-hoo! Do I have a story to tell you? <laughs> a real doozy of a story it is. And it's 100% true, yeah, except for the bits I made up. Uh, they're mostly true, too. Uh, just made up to protect the innocent, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, I was working with Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. A real covert job it was. We were out to stop Boss Cass from getting all the mystic talismans and, and using their awesome power in the pursuit of evil. Cass had us trapped on his giant robot and it looked like it was the end for us. I was trying to calm Ty down, you, you know, stop him from blubbering like a baby, if you know what I mean, when I had an amazing idea. I used some old uh, 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 rubber bands, a length of sticky tape, and some pre-loved bamboo to make a doomerang. Using my incredible boomerang throwing skills, I managed to, to lob it at Cass, knocking him unconscious and saving the day. <laughs> I was a hero, I was. Yeah, uh, they, uh, they, they even named a day after me. Tuesday, in fact. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Did you know that um, uh, 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 koala bears aren't actually bears at all? No way! You know what they are? Uh, that's right, they're a type of tree-dwelling monkey that lives on uh, uh, gum leaves and corn chips. Woohoo! Amazing stuff, and it's all true. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, uh, Hetty Gruesomebottom, an amateur monsterologist and an award-winning flower arranger, invented the first koala in 1937. Uh, she used to sell them from a corner store right here in Burramudgee. <laughs> and, and, and you know what else? Uh, I... I have no idea where I am right now. Uh, oh, is that the time already? I have to take medication. Did you know that um, the color yellow is in fact a shade of blue? <laughs> it's all true. My Uncle Benny, who works at Dusty Burroughs University in the color department, knows a guy who has a friend who knows these things. Uh -huh. Well, apparently the person who originally classified yellow was colorblind. Can you believe it? He, he also reckons that the color red is heavier than the color yellow. And that the color orange isn't really a color, but is in fact a fruit. <laughs> I don't know, but just thinking about it makes my head hurt. You may be wondering how I know so much, right? Well, uh, the answer is simple, really. I'm actually a genius! Woo! <laughs> it's true! You know the letter I? Well, I invented that. Uh huh, and the full stop. Oh, I've invented heaps of stuff. I am so prolific, it scares me. In fact, 
I even invented the word prolific. No word of a lie, it's all true. I have a photographic memory too. It's incredible. Of course, sometimes I forget to load the film, <laughs> but that's another story. But uh, you know what my favorite two inventions are? Okay, the holes in Swiss cheese, uh, the number 72, and uh, rhubarb flavored ice cubes. <laughs> All my ideas, baby. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah.